Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us have a look. Now here the electrons pass through the various electron carriers. As I said, none of these molecules are going to accept or absorb the electrons. They will just carry the electron and pass it to the next carrier. So now in the first step we saw that how the electrons got excited and it was picked up by the primary electron acceptor. So now we have to see where all it passes through or who are the electron carriers which form the electron transport chain. Now these electron carriers together form the electron transport system. So let us see what are who are these electron carriers. Now once the electrons are picked up by the primary acceptor or the electron acceptor, so from there it passes to a molecule called pheophytin. So pheophytin is the next molecule. Now most of these molecules who act as electron carriers and form the electron transport chain, they are all electron carriers structure wise, they are all protein structures. So from pheophytin, it passes to another molecule called plastoquinone. From plastoquinone, it passes to the cytochrome complex. And from this cytochrome complex, it passes to plastocyanin. And from plastocyanin, it reaches the PS1, that is photosystem 1. Now all these molecules, they are all protein structures and all of them act as electron carriers. So nowhere by none of these molecules electrons are absorbed. So all these electron carriers together form the electron transport system or the electron transport chain, whatever you call it. So this is the entire electron transport chain. Right? So now, why the electrons move from one molecule to the other? Now, the electrons are actually moving down the potential scale. Now, as you all know, everything, a general tendency is that every molecule will tend to move from a region of higher potential towards a region of lower potential. Now, here, if you look at the energy levels of the electrons, here the electrons were in the ground state when it was there with the PS2. Now when too much of energy was absorbed in from sunlight, the electrons got excited and they reached higher energy levels. Now when the electrons are in the higher energy levels, they are less stable. For example, if you think of uh, an atom, this is the nucleus and these are the energy levels. Right? Let us suppose if there is an electron here. So this electron is at a higher energy level. So it has higher energy but it is less stable. The far further away the electron is from the nucleus, the less stable it is because any time it can be snatched away from the nucleus because it is very far away from the nucleus. But the closer it is to the nucleus, the more stable it is the less chance of it being snatched away or it being taken away. So now by default every electron would like to be in lower energy levels, right? Because they, everybody wants to be more stable. So everybody wants more stability, so, the, so does the electron. So the electron will also want to be in the lower energy levels. But since here in this case, excess energy was provided by the light energy because of which it got excited and it went to higher energy levels. But now it wants to come down to lower energy levels. So it moves down the potential scale and it moves on from one electron carrier to another. So it passes on through all these electro all these electron carriers which together form the electron transport chain. And finally the low energy electron here is passed on to the PS1. So the electron which is passed on to PS1 is a low energy electron whereas the electron which passes on to few fighting from here is a high energy electron so electron moves down this potential scale because it wants to attain more stability so it moves down the energy gradient 
Now, during this process, when the electron moves from higher energy levels to lower energy levels, a lot of energy is released. Again, you remember your basic concepts. When you want an electron to move from a lower energy level to higher energy level, what do you have to do? You have to supply some energy. You need to give energy to move an electron from lower energy level to higher energy level. For example, in this case here, when you wanted this electron to move to this higher energy level, you had to give some energy and that energy was given in the form of light energy. But when an electron is moving down from higher energy level to lower energy level, when an electron is falling back from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, a lot of energy is released. So similar is the case here. When this electron from higher energy level is falling back to lower energy level through these series, a lot of energy is going to be released. So energy is released during this series of electron transport chain and this energy which is released is used for chemo -os chemi osmotic ATP synthesis that is this energy which will be released will be used to synthesize ATP and it will also be used to pump protons from stroma to, to thylakoid space. That is, it will be used to create a proton gradient. Now, how is this proton gradient created? We will explain that a little later. For now, you just understand that the energy which is released here, how this energy is released, that is clear, right? Now, this energy released will be used for two purposes. One is to prepare ATP molecules and the other is to create proton gradient. Now, how will this create proton gradient? So that is another question. So we have to understand that also very clearly. For now you just understand that energy is released here. How this energy is utilized to create proton gradient I will explain a little later. Because then it will be easier for you to understand. Okay. So till now we are clear with two steps. First step is light falls on PS2 electron get excited to primary acceptor. Second step light passes through a series of electron carriers which together form the electron transport system and while during this process a lot of energy is released this energy is utilized for atp synthesis and creation of proton gradient so electrons are finally passed to the pigments of ps1 as you can see here finally from plastocyanin the electrons will be passed to ps1 thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.